Kendi. You remember Kendi? We talked a lot about Kendi in 2020 during uh, BLM. Kendi, of course, is, uh, uh, is Ibrahim Solani Kendi. I mean, I didn't realize this, but that's not his real name. His real name is Boring Henry Rogers. But he changed it to Ibrahim, Ibram Zolani Kendi or Ibram X, I guess, trying to mimic Malcolm X. Anyway, Kendi, as we all know him, uh, Kendi was, of course, uh, uh, made famous uh, during the BLM riots as the guy who had written the book about uh, anti-racism, as the person who basically had declared that uh, all, basically all whites were racist. It was just, it was just uh, I I implicit in their being white, that there was no real way not to be racist if you were white. And if you weren't actively an anti-racist, which meant admitting the fact that you were racist and doing everything to grovel and, and groveling to, to, to kind of uh, undo uh, uh, the racist image. And, and if you remember, I did a whole show, some of you remember, some of you are new, but I did a whole show on Kendi's book and the whole phenomenon of anti-racism. Anyway, um, uh, Kendi was uh, uh, rewarded for his, uh, for his I, I guess, uh, let's say, brilliance uh, uh, in, and, and success in labeling all white people as racist. He was awarded by Boston uh, University uh, and a, uh, who hired him, he was in Florida at the time, who hired him and established a center, a center for the study of uh, racism. So um, it was an anti-racist research center, or actually it was called the Center for Anti-Racist Research. Now remember, Anti-racist doesn't mean what the word actually says. Anti-racist doesn't mean being anti-racist. I'm anti-racist. Most of you are anti-racist, right? We hate racists. We think racism is barbaric and primitive and, 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 and really horrific. Anti-racist is a racist ideology that basically claims it's, it's an anti-white racist ideology that claims that all whites are responsible, all whites are racist, and all whites are responsible for the evils of slavery and discrimination in the past, and therefore they should ask for forgiveness, and he has a whole political agenda, which is, which is absurd. But he's become famous, right? He, he started the center, the, uh, uh, the uh, Center for the Anti-Racist anti uh, Studies. Um, Ooh, uh, so, uh, uh, Ragabrek says, uh, Armenia is apostolic, not orthodox. I have no idea what apostolic means. I'll have to look it up later. But, okay, sorry. Uh, so they're not orthodox. That would make them one difference between them and the Georgians and the Russians. Oh, I forgot to talk about Russia with regard to Armenian, uh, Armenia uh, and Azerbaijan. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute because it is an important point that should be added. Uh, anyway... Kendi raised a huge amount of money for the center. He also became hugely successful himself. He has a ESPN series. He has children's book, books about racist ideas in America. Uh, he is a corporate guru, kind of a trainer that goes in and helps out with DEI and everything else. Um, huge. Anyway, this last week, Kendi uh, has announced that he's made uh, the, quote, painful decision to reduce the program's size and mission in an effort to guarantee its future. In other words, he's running out of money in spite of the fact that he raised $55 million, most of that in 2020. He's not able to raise new money and somehow he's burnt through a lot of this money, this other money. He's got real problems He's fired, supposedly, about half, about half of, um, of his staff. The university itself has announced that it's conducting an inquiry into complaints from staff members, which include questions about the center's management culture and the faculty and staff's experience with it, as well as where the hell did the money go? Or as the New York Times puts it, grant management practices. <laughs> uh, 
Um, right, of the 55 million, 5 million it was raised just this last year, which is a lot of money. And yet, they have to fire half the people and there's an investigation. Uh, you know, there's this, this whole idea of anti-racist, the, the idea of DEI, a lot of these ideas, Kendi himself, maybe less, um, less uh, what do you call it, um, uh, viewed positively as they were a few years ago. Uh, you know, uh, he, he is less of a center of attention. Um, I, I, you know, I think the whole BLM phenomenon, at least for now, has dissipated. I told you this would happen under Biden, but it's dissipated somewhat. Um, he is being criticized. His work has come under attack, not just from uh, conservatives, but also from uh, other liberal academics who find his work distasteful and wrong and and, and, and arbitrary um, and racist. Uh, and um, it's much more difficult, supposedly, for him to raise money in this environment. So he has a problem uh, with, uh, with expenses. Anyway, the university is looking into it. It'll be interesting to see what they discover and what they find out uh, about the financing. You know, DEI is in a decline. Hiring for DEI position has declined by 20%, uh, you know, from its height uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, just the general attitude in the country, I think, has shifted on these issues. I think mostly that's good. Some of that might be bad, but mostly it's good. Mostly getting rid of, of DEI, getting rid of the focus on race. Uh, you know, the, the Supreme Court's recent decision about affirmative action at the universities will have an impact. But generally, the, uh, the, the you know, corporate attitudes and other attitudes are changing, and Kendi is less sought out, I think, as a, as a guru than he has been in the past. And that is good. Um, I, hope, I, hope, I hope the center closes, ultimately. The center is a really bad, 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 uh, you know, idea, and um, it'll be interesting to watch to see what happens and whether Kendi survives at this anti-racism center.